Tim, um, as an experienced uh, general manager and an alumnus at, uh, from London Business School, just wondering if you could give any advice to aspiring uh, leaders from London Business School. Well, I hesitate a little bit because um, advice like this can be very, very generalist and of course everyone's situation is different. But what I would say is if you're young, um, try to go and get experience with um, somebody or some institution that will maximise the number of open doors for you in the future. And that often means uh, going and working for somebody that is viewed as prestigious and people will feel that you must have been pretty good to get in there. But after a certain period of time, not too long, I would recommend anybody who has aspirations to becoming a successful general manager to somehow get themselves into a line management position. And often uh, it doesn't need to be a big company, it can be a small company but just to get person responsibility and get experience and be able to show that you've got judgment, be able to show that you're capable of taking decisions under pressure. Um, that's very important to do in one's 20s or early 30s. And what's, what are the key differences of uh, working at a PE-backed firm versus a non-PE-backed firm? Well, private equity has a, a, a very focused approach. Um, we, we tend to invest in companies and we have a definite idea of, of exiting those businesses within a finite period of time. And that tends to create a great deal of focus. Um, in, a, in a publicly listed company, um, there isn't that exit. So there's a, arguably perhaps a greater sense of, of continuity and often more time has to be spent on regulatory matters, more time has to be spent on communications with shareholders, uh, with the board and everything else. So I would say in some respects there's more kind of drag um, in, in, on, on a listed company. Um, private equity tends to be uh, more focused, more driven by cash, more immediacy. Indeed. Thank you very much for your participation today, Tim. Thank you. Thank you.